Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. Program Director of the Consortium for Public Education, interviewing Dana Hackley, Dr. Dana Hackley, who is the Public Relations Specialist in the Marketing and Client Development Department at Jackson Kelly PLLC, which is a regional law firm. All right, so Dana, can you tell me about your role as the Public Relations Specialist? Sure. So I work in marketing and client business development, which basically means that within the law firm, I am responsible for the public facing image of the law firm, as well as internally our internal communications. And it's my responsibility to help facilitate our attorneys to build relationships, to network, but also to, um, present their best image, present their best side, uh, essentially, to potential clients, uh, current clients, and basically to help these attorneys who are very, very busy with their legal cases and just don't have time to deal with some of these other things, help facilitate and make their life a little bit easier while also presenting them to the public as, hey, these are really good attorneys and they can do really great work for you. So um, the legal marketing community actually has very strict rules uh, and responsibilities and, and things that we can and cannot do that normal marketing maybe can uh, because if we are not representing you as a client, we cannot necessarily um, publish something. We also say, for example, we're making an advertisement. It must clearly have a disclaimer at the bottom saying this is an advertisement because someone might think it's legal services rendered. So we have very specific rules and regulations regarding what we can and cannot say and how we can represent attorneys in the legal field. You basically learn that there are a lot of legal loopholes that you have to jump through, especially copyright infringement. Uh, I mean, literally every little thing that you do will be scrutinized by at least 10 attorneys. So how is this current position like different than the other positions you've had right. before, right? So like a little bit about like, can you tell us about like your career path and like how it's kind of morphed? I personally started out working in broadcast news. I had ambitions of being a uh, foreign war correspondent and uh, quickly realized that I was terrible on camera. <laughs> I couldn't walk and chew gum at the same time at all. Uh, but I really had a knack and a love for telling stories, which marketing is a lot of telling stories, but it's also a lot of building relationships. And so I did go on to be a national news producer for an organization that owns 63 television stations across the country. And I did end up going to Iraq and producing live coverage from Iraq uh, during the 2004 uh, Iraq war. And it really opened my mind to different cultures, different people, and different perspectives which is what marketing is all about. It's about looking at something from multiple perspectives and then presenting it in a way that more than one audience can understand and relate to. So I went into broadcasting. I was a national news producer. Then I went into academics because I really wanted to share my love and passion of journalism and broadcasting with students. And I worked at various universities teaching uh, you know, how to do this campus television station, how to run the campus newspaper. Uh, I went on and I got my doctorate degree just because I am fascinated by the role that multimedia plays and how media and how you present something can really influence someone's opinion. Now I am in legal marketing, which is a totally different beast, but it has a lot of the same principles. And so that's how I got to where I am today. And, um, I, I would say I thoroughly enjoy it. So next question, uh, what do you love about what you are doing right now? What I love about what I'm doing right now is when someone has worked really hard to accomplish something, being able to celebrate these little wins with them, it's, it's fun. It makes my day, right? We have students, law students, who have just graduated 
who we're all on pins and needles waiting to find out whether or not they've passed the bar exam. And it's a lot of fun when we find out that they passed the bar exam to be able to send out either an internal email or post something to social media welcoming them and congratulating them. So we get to be a part of these milestones. And I get to shout it from the rooftops and say, hey, look at what these guys did. And it makes me feel good because I know that it's something that they've really worked hard for. And it's something that I enjoy. Um, what are some skills that make you particularly good at your job? Organization. Okay, it's very important to be organized because every day is different and you could have a list of priorities that you need to accomplish for that day. And then the firm managing member might say, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I need this advertisement made. <laughs> and you have to drop everything you're doing and create the graphic design for the advertisement and also secure the sponsorship or whatever it is that it entails. So I would say organization and flexibility. I would also say attention to detail because when you're writing a press release or when you are writing something online, people will look at that. And if you have grammar errors or spelling errors, particularly in the legal field. It is a reflection on you, it's a reflection on the law firm, and it goes to the credibility of what you're saying. And if you do say something incorrect or incorrectly online, it can cause a legal issue. <laughs> so you have to be very, very careful. So a lot of people think that, oh, I can post to social media, I can be in marketing. Oh, I can throw together a video, I can be in marketing. But there's much more strategy that goes into it because yes, you can throw up a lot of videos, but then you might oversaturate the market. You might become boring or people might be sick of you. There's a lot of communications theory behind what we do. And so everything is done strategically. Everything is planned in advance. We also, when we have like some sort of marketing campaign that is integrated with various mediums, we have ways to, I would say, uh, keep track of and report on a lot of the metrics, right? So you know that if you're watching a Netflix show and a specific ad pops up and you're thinking, I just looked at buying that on Amazon. How is that possible? That's analytics, that's metrics. We track everything. We track our social media, we track our website traffic. It's a lot of planning and a lot of research that goes into it because if we're gonna spend the money, it needs to be worthwhile and we need to get a return on our investment. What questions should people ask themselves if they are considering a career in your field? Right. I would say that if you're going to work in any type of marketing, any type of client development, any type of public relations, you have to enjoy people. You have to enjoy building relationships. You have to enjoy talking to people and really appreciating and respecting people for their differences. You will come into contact with hundreds of people a day, even if it's virtually during a pandemic, and you have to be able to adapt and have to be able to converse with them. Whether it's talking about the weather or sports teams, it doesn't matter, but you have to be able to make people feel comfortable, make people feel at ease so that then you can dive down into what really the purpose of the task is at hand. So I would say the most important skill that anyone can um, hone is conversation skills, public speaking skills, and really just being a genuine nice person because people can read and people can sense when you're being fake. And it will be a major turnoff for anyone that you're trying to market or anyone that you're trying to assist with their marketing. Okay, last question. What's one piece of advice you would give to anyone aspiring to work in your field? The most important thing is to take initiative. Teach yourself technology. Teach yourself some of the skills that you might need and practice. Practice public speaking. Practice having relationships and conversations with people. I have really noticed that a lot of young people, particularly because they do have so much screen time, are unable to have a conversation. So I would say it's really about taking initiative, learning technology, and learning how to be a good listener, and really hone the craft of storytelling and understanding the who, what, when, where, and why of 
whatever it is that you want to work in. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, Dana. I really appreciate it. No problem. For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks!